This podcast is narrated by its author and in short sections for the benefit of YouTube and podcast listeners who can listen at their leisure. The book was originally published on the 11th of February 2001, whilst David Clunk, the author, was a lecturer at Farron College. It's gone through various editions and now in two parts. One, Converted on LSD Trip, Part 1, that leads to podcast Beard and Strict in Particular Baptist, Podcast 2. And also another edition called Borstal Boys. The first edition opened with an introduction stating that David Clark is currently a lecturer at Fairham College teaching electronic servicing and has taught there since 1989. Since leaving Dover Borsal in 1968, he had a three-year career of undetected crime until the 16th of January 1970 when he experienced a Christian conversion while suffering from the effects of LSD. He trained as a lecturer at Wolverhampton Polytechnic and commenced teaching at Luton College of Higher Education in 1978. He has taught hundreds of students during his 21 years as a lecturer when moving to Fareham in 1990, David turned away from God in unbelief and went through a divorce, remarriage. However, he returned to God in faith and repentance and since 1994 has spoken to many of his friends all about what Jesus had done for him. David believes it is now time to complete his students' education. He now wishes to make known to all his former friends and students and their friends that his bad experience on LSD is nothing compared to what hell was like. He wants to tell them all how they too might be saved through faith in Jesus Christ. Like Oscar Schindler and his list, all that were on that list were saved. So too, this David has a list of over 250 students and friends who he is seeking and will be contacting shortly. He wishes to persuade them to listen and to hear in full of all what Jesus has done for him and what he can do for them. Many of his friends have, have found life difficult and gone through marriage breakups, been made redundant and without work, some are without hope. Some are in drink dry out centres, some are ill, hopeless and some have died. David conducted the funeral for John Sawyer at Titchfield in 1997, a student of his when he had no one left in the world to help him in his death. The police only had David's telephone number written down on John Sawyer's wall when he died. David wishes to bring a message of hope to all his friends, showing them that Jesus still saves today. David believes he has had a word of encouragement from the Lord about this testimony, and it is this. And he was astonished on all they that were with him at the draught of fishes which they had taken. Luke chapter 5, verse 9.